Pixies Craft World, what's up? We are back. Today is Friday, the 21st of April. We are back with another video. I hope that this one is different, exciting, new, and fresh. Um, actually, this idea kind of came to me because um, the ladies that I watch, um, which is, uh, I think it's Baskets and More, Gift Baskets and More, um, along with, of course, um, Felicia and um, Yummy Tea. They all had, um, they have a Weekender bag that's going around. So I kind of wanted to be a little bit different than the Weekender bag. Nothing wrong with the Weekender bag. I'm actually going to do a bag for the weekend, but I'll just label it, label it as something a little bit different. But this one is going to be a, let's see, how do I say it? An expecting mother hospital bag. So it won't have everything in it that the mother will need um, because of course, every woman is different. Every woman needs different things. Some women want makeup, some women do not, but it'll have the essentials um, in there, in the bag of, you know, what a woman would need for her bag to take to the hospital when she's getting ready to give birth to her little bundle of joy. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. I'm not playing no games. Let's go Mother's Day DIY expecting mother basket. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, I also want to say thank you to everyone who watched my previous video of the jar um, gift basket or gift basket. Um, I've, I got so many comments on that, that it was elegant and beautiful. And I really, truly appreciate all the comments. Um, and a couple of people asked me, you know, or said that they would do it a little bit different. So I might let me know if you want to see a different twist on it other than the one that I did. I can do another one. Listen, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I can do another one. Not a big deal. But just let me know your comments below and I will do another one. All right, let's get into this video. I've already talked too much. You know how I get. All right, let's go. All right, everyone. So I have this pretty little throw. I got it from, I think it was Dollar General for maybe, I know it was when they had, was it 90% off of these? And I want to say it was like maybe, I don't know, $5 or something like that. But it's nice and thick, and I thought it would be nice for a mom to have, take to the hospital with her. Sometimes you want your own um, blanket because sometimes the blankets that, you know, even though they warm them, it's still not warm enough. And I'm, I'm that girl that's never warm. So I figured that would be a nice little touch. So, yes, I am kind of shoving, not shoving in the back of this bag. I already have a box on the inside. And it was just one of my Amazon boxes um, that I received from ordering a gift wrap. And I just wanted to put something in there that was kind of sturdy. Probably could have got away with not even putting the box because of the blanket. But I wanted to add this blanket, this throw in there because, oh, it's a little plastic. But I thought it was super cute, nice and thick, and I wanted her to have it. So there you go. The blanket is nice and tucked. We're going to put this robe in there, this robe oh, with the brush is a Nanette set. It, I got it um, right after Christmas. 90% um, off. I don't remember how much this particular set was, but I know, I know it was l definitely less than $10. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I know it was less than $10. And it was one that um, I never even put in a basket for Valentine's Day, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this down in here nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the brush, the back scrub brush in here like that. I put an extra piece of um, cardboard inside. It came already just like this, the robe. But I put an extra piece for sturdiness on the inside and I don't know, maybe I should have added another piece. But we'll see how this goes. So then that's the the um, blanket, the robe, and then a towel. Figured she'd need her own towel or want her own towel. And I just wrapped a little um, black ribbon around it just to give it a little interesting flair. Okay, and then I have these two washcloths. And again with these, I just wrapped a little piece of black ribbon around them just to make them look a little fancy. I ended up getting a journal and this journal, um, it says, let all that you do be done in love. And it says Corinthians 16, 14. And I thought that this was a nice journal that she can possibly write in either before labor, before the pains kick in, the labor pains, or either the next morning if she's not feeding the baby. Maybe she can journal her um, her labor or the feelings. However, I think it would be a nice touch for her to be able to, um, you know, this would be something nice for the baby to go back and read when they're older. But um, I added a pen. So I'm just gonna tuck this in the back for extra support for the robe. And then it'll also give a 3D effect to the bag. This bag um, I ended up purchasing from Timu, as I had mentioned before. I think the bag was, I don't know, 11 something. It wasn't much. And I know it was not more than 11. And then I also bought shower shoes. I put a bow on here too to make it look a little interesting. I'm gonna put these in the back. And you know, I didn't get the slippers because I figured the shower shoes were probably most important and some people can use them. Shower shoes, slippers, same thing. Okay. Uh, Picked up the Olay shower gel. I also picked up the Moisture Hydrate. And this is leave-in conditioner and shampoo. I picked this up from Dollar Tree. The Olay, I ended up picking that up from Ollie's. It was literally like $2.99. I thought that that was an awesome deal for Olay brand. Okay. And then we have a brush for her to brush her hair. Everyone likes to take pictures. So she'll have something to brush her hair with. So we'll just tuck this in like right here. I put a little black bow on the brush as well. We have a travel toothbrush and toothpaste. 
going to put this behind the back brush. Okay. And you have the Dove Moisture Moisturizer Body Cream. And then we have the deodorant, the Arm & Hammer. These two also I picked up at Dollar Tree. And lastly, I picked up just some hair ties, rubber bands or hair bows. And then I also picked up some gum and some mints because no telling how long you're gonna be in labor. And some women just like to have, you know, a fresh breath. And some women just don't care because <laughs> Once those labor pains kick in, it doesn't even matter. And there you have it. This was quick. It was simple. It was easy. I think, like I said, it's not everything. I didn't get the, um, the undergarments, you know, the panties, um, and of course the, the pads, but I think that, or the feminine, you know, products I should have said, but this is everything, the, just the essentials that a woman would need. She's got her shower gel, she's got her rope, she's got her towels, her washcloth, her brush, you know, deodorant. This is the bare essentials. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that um, you keep continuing to watch my videos um, all the way to the end. If you have with